Hi, this is Mike from Dave Wright Nissan Subaru. Thanks for responding to my YouTube video. Uh, I'm going to answer some of your questions here to help help you out. Uh, your first one on the key fobs, if they, how does the car know if it's a key fob one or two? It doesn't. There isn't a one or two. It doesn't matter which one you have, as long as you have one of these on you, uh, your push button will start. Um, I'll give you a real quick little tutorial on the key fob. It's kind of different, but you have your lock button on the top. The unlock button is the Subaru emblem. And then the third one down here is your back hatch. You can press and hold that one, and then your back hatch will open up. Like on this is a four-cylinder limited as well here, 2015. Um, and then you can also press and hold that to shut it. The other thing I'll mention, oh, and down here you have your panic button. On the back, if, you ever, if your key is ever dead and won't open the car or do anything, the backup is right here, you, this little silver, and you have an actual key inside there that you can pull out to get into the car if you ever need to. So, very handy little key fobs. You get two of them when you buy the car. Um, the break-in period question, there is no more break-in period. You just drive, if you bought this car with one mile on it, you will drive it uh, just like you would normally drive it. You don't have to drive at different speed interview intervals or different terrain intervals or anything. Um, you could just hop in the car and drive it how you're going to drive it. Uh, the oil changes on the four-cylinder are every six months or 6,000 miles. It is synthetic oil only, so you do have to use synthetic oil. Um, but So you don't have to come in any earlier than six months or 6,000 miles. A lot of people think, well, Mike, I better come in at you know, 2,000 miles or 3,000 miles and get that first batch of oil out of there. Um, not necessary. I have a lot of people that still do it because their minds just train them to do that. But you, you, according to Subaru, you do not have to do that. Um, now your other questions about the hill holder and the um, downhill descent called X mode. Uh, first of all, where they're located in here, you have uh, this is your emergency brake. Here's your hill holder, and this is your X mode. The X mode is used under 20 miles an hour only, so when you're going down a really steep incline, and let's say it's really rocky or really uneven or, you know, a bunch of snow, really bad, any kind of bad weather going downhill, uh, what you do is you stop the car, you press X mode, a little green light will show up on your dash to tell you that you're in X mode, and then what you do is you're going to go down the hill, you just take your foot off the brake, you take your foot off the gas, and you just let the car go. And the X mode will kick in by applying the anti-lock brakes. Your vehicle dynamic control is going to be kicking in, uh, which is tapping brakes to individual tires to correct oversteer or understeer. Um, and uh, it's also reducing engine power to certain tires to, to keep it going downhill in, in control. So you'll be going down that hill with your feet completely off the gas and the brake, and the car will kind of be doing some vibrating and some little sounds, you'll hear it. But it's just very slow and a controlled downhill descent. When you come down to the bottom of the hill, you'll kind of roll out, and you'll just come to a nice gradual stop. And then you can take it out of the X mode and then go to work. Um, so that's the X mode, again, under 20 miles an hour only. The hill holder is really cool. If you're driving your car, and you pull up to a stoplight or stop sign and you're on somewhat of an incline and you got your foot on the brake and the light turns green and it's time for you to go you take your foot off the brake to give it the gas a normal car is going to roll back a little bit not so much on an automatic car mostly stick shifts are going to do that but you know some automatics if you're on an incline will roll back a bit this car will not do that if, if the hill holder button is engaged and it does have to be engaged uh, you can sit you can Take your foot off the brake and you can sit there on an incline and not roll back at all. Not an inch, not, a, not any, anything. So as soon as you hit the gas pedal to go forward, the car will go forward then. And what's doing that is the emergency brake. It's, it's kind of the same concept. The emergency brake and the hill holder is the same braking thing. Um, so again, your hill holder, the previous models, the 14s and older, the hill holder would hold for two seconds and then it would slowly release it so you would go backwards. The 2015s do not have a two second hold, it is an indefinite hold, so you could sit there you know, longer than two seconds, and then as soon as you hit the accelerator, the emergency brake is off, and then you go forward. So it's very cool. So again, the hill holder and the downhill descent of the, called the X mode, are very cool features that you're gonna like on your Outback. Uh, so play around with them a little bit. When you're, next time you're going down a real bad, 
driveway or a hill and it's really nasty or bad, put it in X mode and take your foot off the gas and take your foot off the brake and let it coast. And you'll feel what it does. It kind of, it kind of make like I said earlier, it makes a few little sounds and it makes little vibrations. The wheels, you can tell it's doing something, but what it's doing is it's applying brakes, it's tapping brakes, it's reducing engine power to the tires to make it a completely slow, very controlled downhill descent. Um, and uh, let's see, what else could I tell you that you're going to like about your Subaru? I mean, you can call me anytime. I don't care if you bought your car from me or not. Anybody out there, if you have a question about your Subaru, call me anytime. My cell phone is 319-551-9364. Or you can call toll-free at our dealership is 1-800-332-0290. And my name is Mike Barnes. I've been here almost 20 years, and I love Subarus. They are my life and uh, passion, and I know you're going to love your Outback. Um, so if you have any questions, call me personally anytime. Um, I'm, I'm off on Tuesday, so if you call on Tuesday, I won't be here. But any day, um, give me a holler. If there's any other features that you'd like you know, straightened out, we can just chat on the phone. I can even just sit in a car, and you can sit in your car, and we can kind of go back and forth and, and uh, make sure you're comfortable with everything. So... Again, you know, you have, don't have two keys, just as long as you have a key fob, you're all good. Um, no break-in period, just use synthetic oil, it's every six months, 6,000 miles. Um, X mode is under 20 miles an hour, and is the downhill descent, and it's going to be applying your brakes and all that kind of stuff, and then the hill holder is when you pull up to a hill on a stop, or pull up to a stoplight on a hill, and you're going to roll back if you take your foot off the brake, it will not do that, it's going to hold that. Side note, real quick, I will mention, if your seat belt is not connected, the hill holder will not unrelease the hill holder. I found that out after a lot of trial and error, so that may save you a little too. If you're trying to do the hill holder and you're not buckled up, it's going to engage, the, it's going to engage and then it's not going to release your e-brake. So you'll be like, what is going on? My e-brake is not releasing. So again, make sure you're buckled up or the hill holder will not engage correctly. So. I hope this helped you out. Uh, call me anytime. Thanks for listening, everybody.